On today's IRS tax update, we are going to take a look at the latest developments, including the next round of tax refunds, scheduled for release this week, as well as the latest processing numbers just released by the IRS. From there, we will take a look at more cases of adjusted tax refunds occurring as well as those who are not seeing any updates to their tax transcripts or refund status results even weeks after filing their taxes, and steps to make sure you are receiving online notices from the IRS. Now, starting off with the latest developments as the next round of direct deposit tax refunds is scheduled to be transmitted and released by the IRS on March 13th, as confirmed by the refund status results seen here. Now, while the majority of those part of this refund batch will receive it on the day of if not before depending on their bank, do allow up until March 18th for it to post your bank account before initiating a payment trace. The viewer who submitted this screenshot of their refund status results actually submitted their tax return back on January 24th and verified their identity on February 26th before finally seeing the 846 refund release code on their transcript following the March 8th transcript update. For those with extended delays, especially before the start of the tax season, who have not done so already, it is advised you verify your identity, even if you have not received any letters requesting you do so. Meanwhile, the IRS has released their latest processing numbers, which show 53.2 million tax returns have been processed out of 54 million filed for an overall processing rate of 98%. Now, while that is a normal processing rate at the moment, it also shows that nearly 800,000 tax returns currently remain unprocessed, including a number of our viewers. Now, while the processing rate has remained consistent in the high 90s, we have seen the unprocessed return numbers continue to grow by the week. Now, with more refunds being issued, continue to come reports of refund adjustments impacting a number of our viewers. There are several reasons why a refund adjustment may occur starting off with an entry error made on the tax return. And the good news is that in most cases, the IRS can auto-correct the issue and complete the processing of the return without the need of the tax filer having to submit an amended return. The IRS will also issue a notice detailing the cause of the adjustment and give you the opportunity to appeal if you believe they were wrong with the adjustment. It also should be mentioned that this is also one scenario that falls under the 570 and 971 codes appearing on your tax transcripts with separate dates. If you are encountering the messages seen here when checking the status of your refund, Specifically seeing tax topic 203, that means while your refund has been cleared for release, a portion or all of it will be taken to settle a prior debt you have. Now that debt could be anything from past due child support, state income tax obligations, federal agency non-tax debt, and certain unemployment debts. You will receive a notice in the mail on where exactly that tax refund was applied to, but the IRS itself will not have any additional information for you about where the refund was applied to. For those impacted by this and interested in finding out, please contact the Bureau of Fiscal Services for additional information. We are still hearing from a significant number of viewers who are showing no tax return filed when checking their tax transcript like the one seen here, or encountering that their return processing has been delayed beyond the normal time frame as seen in this refund status results. Now when it comes to the refund status results, just because you may be seeing that return processing has been delayed, it does not indicate a problem with your return. The message being displayed is automatically generated by the IRS computer when it has been or approaching 21 days since your return was filed and accepted by the IRS. Now, while the clear majority of tax returns are processed within 21 days of filing, that time frame is not guaranteed and clearly is not the case for all those filing. Just like the tax filing season last year, we have seen a number of early filers who filed before the tax season even began on January 29th or during the first week of the season who are continuing to experience some of the longest delays. Now, while the IRS has not indicated why early filers in particular seem to be impacted, we believe there are a number of early filled tax returns that are backed up in the queue that still need to be pushed through so that can be uploaded for processing. Our continued recommendation for those early filers impacted with delays, not having to do with audits or random reviews, is to wait until at least the second full week of the tax season before submitting your tax return next year. It is also recommended early filers still not seeing updates who filed in the month of January to confirm with the IRS if their delay is associated with the need to complete ID verification. Also, as a reminder, the next mass tax transcript update is scheduled for March 15th, specifically for those with transcript cycle codes ending in 05. And those seeing movement on their transcripts on that day will expect to see an updates to where's my refund on March 16th. 
For those with cycle codes ending in 0, 1 through 0, 4, the next mass transcript update for you will take place on March 12th, with your refund status results updating the following day. However, if your cycle codes end in 0, 1 through 0, 4, you may also see updates on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. For those waiting on updates to your tax transcripts, it can take anywhere from two to four weeks for updates, even if you have not had to wait long in previous years. As timeframes differ from each tax season, there is no guarantee you will see the same timelines you had in previous years. Another reminder for our viewers to opt in to receive online notices in addition to paper notices from the IRS. In order to do this, you will want to log into your online IRS account and select Go Paperless for certain IRS notifications that should appear under Notifications as seen here. From there, you will want to confirm the IRS has the correct email address on file for you and select the option, New Notices and Letters under Email Notifications, and make sure to select both Online and Paper Notice Delivery under Paperless Settings. Now, not all notices will be sent electronically. However, the IRS is continuing to add notices, which will allow for faster delivery and potentially a quicker resolution in regards to your delays. Let us know in the comment section below about your ongoing tax issue. In the meantime, we will keep monitoring the situation for further developments, so make sure to click on the thumbs up and subscribe button below for future updates on this channel, and thanks for watching.